Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Brigandine, Legend of Force Net. I am your host, Valka Sonari. I've been gone for far too long this time. Uh, hope everybody had a good holiday season. Still, New Year's are coming up, so please be safe and drink responsibly. So anyway, uh, we need to do some organization real quick here. We've got some slots to fill up as far as monster roster goes. So let's go back down here to Orcs Run. I know there's uh, some empty slots here. And we need to fill up Legale's uh, slots as well, because I want to keep her around. We are low on knights to go ahead and defend some castles. We have to get at least a couple more to defend up north. That way we can keep pushing forward into Leonia and hopefully take out Esgaris in the process. Um, if we can do that, we'll actually rank up a lot of knights if we can take out the Empire. So, with this one, she can hold 80. Uh, I don't know exactly what creatures are here, but we'll figure that out in a second. There's 20. Scorpion, if they have one, I'll get one of those. And another 25 here, maybe a merman. Um, Alright, let's see what they have to offer. Cool, okay, that's fine. Um, let's get a couple of those. Hydra, Hydra. Uh, Hydra is 80, so uh, let's go ahead and grab one of those. That'll be perfect. It's definitely a hardy defense right there. Some powerful monsters, high crit rate. Yep, I'm happy with it. A couple ghouls here. Some cannon fodder. Gotta send those meat shields in, man. Especially on normal and hard mode. Easy mode will come right to you. And we discussed that before. Uh, up top. Miguel. She, I think, is at 160. 163. So she can hold up to 160. Off screen, I figured this out before. She can hold a griffin, a couple lizard men, and a pixie. So let's go ahead and grab those. And that should give her a decent line of defense there. And also another reason why I want to keep her around is because if I can catch Caster in battle um, at the same time with her, before the fight even begins, they'll share a dialogue, and he'll actually come and join our side if they share that dialogue. So um, during the fight, anyway, that'll reduce the enemy's uh, army leaders by one. So it'll be three to two if that can be pulled off. So hopefully we can get that, or I can just simply go in there, grab him, and then retreat. <laughs> so hopefully we can get that to be pulled off. What's over here? Uh, we're all good. I don't think we need to spend any more mana. I need to up any more mana. I can't even talk. Mana defense is good up here. It might be a bit before we see any additional battles on my part because pressing the attack right now is not a good idea, especially since Sir Leon is really getting back, backed up into a corner. I really hope they can push forward, because if they can take Salisbury right here, I can push up to here, but I need them to take that castle. That's what you gotta count on at this point in the game with the Elmikia, is for your ally to be a little bit strong. But currently, they are getting their butts whooped. What are they even looking like right now? It's not terrible. I mean, they got a good roster here. Kai, Dinadan, and Buret should be able to take out anything that's over here. Even if it's the leader. Just dump all the monsters, all the excess monsters below on these leaders down here. Put them up on your top three, and then go for it. I mean, if you attack with that method, it'll, it'll be great. You can have a full roster of six on each and every leader, and their room power is already high. So, Alright, anyway, enough talk about that. We need to go ahead and summon down here. Nope, we just did that. I'm losing my mind. Um, so I think what I'll go ahead and do, since we won't be seeing any battles for a little bit, um, I'm not going to waste time, you know, taking you through organizational phases all this time for throughout episodes, but... I do want to show you another feature, most of you know this who have played this, uh, that you can actually observe um, any other battles that are being um, played out in the field. So, if you go to... I don't have a cursor? 
Oh boy, I need to count. One, two, crap. Three, four, four. Okay, there we go. Uh, computer versus computer. We turn that to on. Any other battles that are um, done without you present will be able to be visible. So, hopefully we can observe a decent battle here on this episode. And uh, if we can't, we'll just wait for the next one. So, I'll cut the footage as proper. So, Alright, let's go ahead and execute. We're not sending anybody on quests. So we need to wait for Lufal to get back. And we're just going to defend. So, they may attack. Who knows? Alright, execute. Please win. This would actually... No, this is great. Observation right here. Alright. So, I'm just going to sit back, relax, and comment. The enemy doesn't have that much. Sirleon should be able to take this if they play it smart. And don't put Kai in front. That's the biggest problem with, uh, with AI. Especially on easy mode. They just send those leaders in, man. It's just... It's too easy. <laughs> on easy mode. Way too easy. If you want a decent gaming experience, uh, for, especially for the first time, go ahead and put on normal. They're just gonna stay there. Well, yeah, of course, because they're defending. Yeah, we definitely need to cut some footage at some point. sierra has got plenty of healing, too. They, they should not have any trouble. Honestly, if they kill off a couple monsters on a Skyu side, they'll probably retreat. I can almost guarantee it. Maybe just one. Who knows? I also just like to sit back and enjoy the music, man. This game has an amazing soundtrack. not great placement for a centaur. <laughs> you need to put him where the gin is. Not the gin, uh, the unicorn. Unicorn should stay at least three spaces back. Three spaces from the front line. Here comes the tyrant. If he can face off against Dinadan, that would be a pretty awesome fight. But it doesn't look that that's gonna happen. Oh my god, man. Playing stupid, playing stupid. That Bahamut that Drist has is incredibly powerful. It's uh it's breath attack can reach up to five straight line spaces. It's incredible. And if you put power on that thing, just just give up. Battle's over, <laughs> pretty much. If he's in a good position and catches a couple leaders in the process. It's kind of like the Salamander. If I don't even know if I did that earlier. I may have in, a, in the past episodes. I haven't watched them in a while. In fact, those of you that, of you that do not know, that Kuatl, that pink wyvern there in the middle, can evolve into that Bahamut at level 20. So, level up your wyverns, folks. It's definitely worth having a Bahamut, or two, or five. <laughs> There's some of your leaders in the front line, ever so eagerly. I know they're melee, but... Daffy's in a, in a decent position, though. He can only be attacked by one unit. That's actually smart. You see where Daffy is on the top right? The, uh, the samurai. He has two monsters on either side of him forming a triangle formation like that. A choke point. And only one unit can get to him at a time, provided there's no range behind there. So, honestly, if you're looking to do some damage with your leader, that's a good method. 
I, I don't employ that very much, but maybe I should. We learned some things from watching these battles, man. <laughs> but I don't suggest doing it without a healer. Nice shot, nice shot. Sierra Leone, you got plenty of healing. Don't screw this up. Sometimes it's hard to watch these, because you're just like, God, why would you do that? That's a nice hit, though. Geno Thunder is incredibly powerful, man. Especially against a group of blues. Oh, boy. Even against reds, it's powerful. I mean, 132 against that giant. That's damage resistance. <laughs> oh, my God, they killed Daffy. Yeah, they got way too much range on their side. Well, you had a decent formation, but man, it was not the right thing. They caught a dragon. Retreat. It's over. Yep. It'd be hilarious if they could kill Drist. And uh, the Bahamut was <laughs> was left behind. The leader retreated. I thought if the leader retreated, everybody retreated. Well, no, that wouldn't make sense because you can separate them between a couple castles if they're adjacent to a couple. So, but of course, if they're, the leader is defeated, yep, they're all going to go away. Get out of here, fool. You're done. Watch him get stoned. Aw. Oh. <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered, but whatever. It would have been funny. Well, there's an observation. Let's see if we have any more. We're still very early into this episode. And if you don't feel like watching observational battles, go ahead and skip to the next episode. Or stay here and watch me defend. Oh boy. What's gonna happen? Esclados, Rangunus, and Eneid. This is gonna be a fight. I've got strength in numbers, but they do have some powerful leaders on their side. I definitely gotta watch myself. They're on the move because they're attacking. This is a nice change of pace. Okay, let's see. Um, we could go up here and just flank Rangwoodness. And they would have to cut through the forest. However, that might not be the smartest thing. Not that it really matters. They really don't have strength in numbers. You know what? Let's go up and just take him out. If we can take him out, then they're going to retreat. There's no way they'll win. Alright, so uh, before we do anything, let's go ahead and save. Better safe than sorry, man. If there's a pivotal battle that you're about to fight, especially if it's a uh, defense, then definitely go ahead and save. Back into the fray here. Let's go ahead and get this started. I'm coming for you, bro. You ain't gonna escape these flyers. Sometimes you gotta take some risks, man. They'll be forced to go through this forest because the AI is stupid. They will take the first strike, which is completely fine. 
I prefer it when I do that anyway. Keep you back there. I can move. Uh, she's already going through the forest. I just gotta stay away from that samurai man. He's powerful, and he's very, very difficult to hit. Unicorn, please stay back. Don't do what Sirleon did. Get your long range, and he was killed. She's got a wyvern. Still gonna get this around. Fog, huh? That's smart. Since they're pushing this way, he's gonna probably get to me. But she's gonna dump. She's definitely going to be slowed down by that forest, so I should be able to get at least a couple turns in on just a couple nights and not have to worry about her army. Let's see here. Okay, he's definitely not within range. We need to take out these monsters, so going old school. here. And it's not going to be much, but it's something. Alright, perfect. Hmm. Yep. Keep them protected. We can do a spear throw over here. Let's get it weak. I want to make some room for that Hydra. Let's bring you... Let's bring you forward one. Maybe down here. Actually, yes. Let's bring you down there. Level up. Protection. worth it keeping your line of defenses alive. The only ones I would not suggest healing is ghouls. Uh, Alright, let's do a sphere throw. It's getting weak. There's no healers. You, my friend. Hmm. Tempting. But he's probably going to get nuked if I do that. Level C3. 
Yeah, don't sack him. Do not sack him. Okay, she can move further than I thought in that forest. Yeah, yeah, I played it smart this time. Alright, let's get you into position here. For real? This wyvern has fog. I thought he had fog. Okay, whatever. Alright, we can get her some experience. Nice. She's level 1. I definitely want to get her up and running because her rune power starting out is great. So the more she levels up, that rune power is going to skyrocket. Uh, let's see... Jin. Jin, 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 Jin. What level is he? One? Yeah. Screw it. He'll get nuked. But it's cool. You can stay put. Alright. We're doing well. Don't care about that. Oh, I did a back kick. You guys haven't seen that yet. Unicorn's critical attack. Ice breath. Ooh, ooh. At least there was no leaders involved, but man, that stuff hurts when it happens. Gonna waste it? Uh, huh. I thought he would kill the gym with that. He probably could have. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, he can get up around there. Can you get up around there on the second slot? You can. <laughs> Centaur should be able to get a pop shot. And he can. That's three hits. Can I hit and run is the question if I go here. I don't know. Let me, let me see. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five six. He should be able to move away one more if I attack him from there. So I can potentially get four. No gym. Okay. I don't even think I'll need that, but we're going to try it anyway. Here we go. Yeah, I'm not going to need it. Not at all. He didn't move! I guess I don't understand hit and run as well as I thought. Whatever. Um, let's move you here. I don't know if that griffin's going to be able to do it. Dang it! I shouldn't have taken that risk. down there. Why not? It's definitely not the smartest I've ever played. But sometimes you have those days. Guaranteed there's going to be some comments coming. <laughs> Which is great. I, I definitely feed off your guys' comments. So please leave any type of feedback below. Even though I'm a veteran of the game and I know a lot about it, I still benefit from other veterans. So hopefully you veterans are watching. We need to get the rune area up in there. Okay. I don't know. This is going to be close. Nope. Didn't get it. I 
need to be able to get up in there again, man. Oh, this is bad. Halfway time to preload that battle. But, we'll see where it takes us. There. This is a good idea. Give that Hydra Fog. I don't want him damaging Batter Kiss any more than he has to. I think it hit. Let's keep you guys busy down here. Where will we go? Where will we go? There's some hit and run. Gosh. That really screwed me up. I should not have sent that Hellhound in there. Oh well. You live and you learn. Well, looky here. Our faithful little Jin has come to the rescue. Huh, <laughs> how about that? Okay, um, do I want to get any more shots off is the, is the uh, question. No, save them for anything else. I need to build up a defense in case they stay, which they probably definitely won't. But we'll see. Alright, bye bye bye. certainly is. I didn't even see it. <laughs> That's a lot of XP. Is he going to level to 10? Oh, man. The bonus experience would have sent him over the edge, but he's going to be left with 35 before the evolution. Ah, whatever. It's okay. Level 4 Merman. I'll take it. This is a good spot here. Blue against red. It is over for the Empire during this battle, folks. Defense unsuccessful. Or attack unsuccessful. <laughs> Protection. Let's get some experience here. Why not? If it hits. Nope, it's a miss. That's cool. That's cool. You are weak. My army is completely scattered up top. Yeah, but they're going to retreat regardless. Good, good, good. Let's try to get some experience here. Shoot him out of the sky. Batter Kiss is going to take that experience. Let's get it. Bam. Yeah, those those archers, man. 
very, very agile. She's not even in the forest either. That's a good spot. I can't even see... Oh man, this emulator. Give me a break. I just have to guess. That's stupid. dragon without Alicia. Yep. See ya. Very nice. Very, very nice. This was a successful defense, folks. Alright, you get out of there. <laughs> One more for you. Let's just attack and get some XP while we're at it. Oh, a back kick. And you can't counterattack. Uh, that's another good thing about their criticals. In the animation, it actually back kicks them off screen. Can you imagine hitting a dragon and then watch them go flying off screen? It's a hilarious thing to watch. Alright, you just wait. We're done here. I'm wasting too much time. Get out. Alright, one wounded Empire leader, and the rest are gone with diminished monsters. Well done. Uelmikia has triumphed once again. Any more battles here? I think we're done. Okay. Alright, so we didn't get a quest from Rufal. He should be back next turn, hopefully. And uh, if I can get one more leader out of this, then we can press the attack. That way we'll have three at least to defend one castle and press up north. Or we can wait until they finally decide to get off their butts and get up here and take Salisbury. That is a pivotal point. They've got to take that so I can push up into here. If I can do that and take out Esgaris, game is pretty much over. Because I'll get so many more knights if I can take out Esgaris. Not only from taking them out, I'll get three knights from taking them out if I remember correctly, and then get even more when I go on quests. So after you defeat Esgaris, you can recruit Shiraha, the ninja and then turn your other knights into ninjas as well. So you unlock that class if you defeat Esgaris. So focus on Esgaris if you can, um, if you want a huge edge to the entire um, population of this continent. Alright folks, I think that's good enough for episode 9. This has been a massive success on defense, filling out rosters, Leon is making some headway, and we are coming back to normal. Let's check out our domain. We are looking good. Alright guys, thanks again for joining me for episode 9. Please come back for episode 10, and thank you so much once again for watching my LPs. I promise it will be more regular this time, uh, since the holidays are coming to a close. So, thanks again for watching. I'm your host, Michael Sonari. Catch you next time.